Hi, I am Dr. Hasmukh Kumar Jain. I am a nuclear medicine physician. I am working as a director for nuclear medicine, PET CT and Theranostics division. Nuclear medicine is a branch of medicine in which very small quantities of radioisotopes are administered either orally or into the veins of the patient for assessing the function of specific organ or for finding out sites of tumor spread before any definitive therapy is started for the patient or any surgical procedure is performed on the patient. Nuclear medicine procedures are performed to assess the function of thyroid, kidneys, heart, liver, brain, etc. Such procedures can be performed from time to time to look for improvement in function of the organ or else make decision to operate at the earliest. Nuclear medicine procedures are generally very safe from radiation point of view and even small children can undergo such procedures without any fear of radiation. Nuclear medicine procedures are contraindicated in pregnant patients. However, breastfeeding mothers can undergo such procedures provided they stop breastfeeding the child for sufficient period of time after the procedure is completed depending on the type of radioisotope used. Nuclear medicine procedures are very simple to perform as it involves either oral or intravenous administration of radioisotopes for scanning purposes. Except for a small needle prick, there is no pain as such in most nuclear medicine procedures. Allergic reactions to radioisotopes are extremely rare. Any adverse reactions are usually mild, they pass off quickly and require little or no medical treatment. However, some patients are allergic to CT contrast agents and any history of allergy on previous occasion should be thoroughly elicited before injecting the contrast material. Most of the nuclear medicine procedures, they involve usage of radioisotopes and scanning by costly gamma camera and PET CT scanners. Also, there is heavy cost involved in setting up of nuclear medicine department and hence most procedures have higher charges as compared to CT or MRI scans. However, most nuclear medicine procedures turn out to be cost effective in the long run. Nuclear scans are very helpful in assessing the viable heart muscle after the patient has suffered a heart attack and also helps in assessing the function of heart before angioplasty or bypass surgery. Therefore, nuclear medicine procedures are very safe even in patients suffering from heart disease. Radioisotopes are used in very minute doses in the range of picograms to nanograms for the purpose of nuclear scanning and hence does not affect the kidney function at all. They are therefore very safe even in patients with chronic kidney diseases. Nuclear scans are helpful in differentiating hyperfunctioning thyroid gland from an inflamed one and therefore assist in deciding right kind of therapy for such patients. Most nuclear medicine procedures neither require fasting nor stoppage of any particular medicine. However, a few nuclear medicine procedures require strict fasting between 3 to 8 hours and some of them even have restrictions on intake of certain types of medications for 1 to 21 days before administration of radioisotope. Most of the modern day gamma cameras as well as PET CT machines, they are open in nature and only a very few patients experience claustrophobia. Such patients can undergo scan using mild sedation or anti-anxiety drugs and very rarely anesthesia may be required. Most patients after undergoing nuclear scans do not require any specific precaution after completion of the scan. However, in some cases, patients are advised to drink plenty of water after the scan to hasten excretion of the remaining radioisotope to minimize radiation exposure to urinary bladder, kidneys and other organs. Nuclear scans give functional status of tumor or the organ. However, for accurate understanding of structure, that is anatomy, we may have to perform additional scans like ultrasound, CT or MRI even after performing nuclear scans. In PET-CT, 
or PET MRI imaging, both the scans are done at the same time and patients rarely require additional scans after undergoing these scans. Most test results are made available on the same day of scanning and only a few scans require up to 24 hours for releasing the test result. Patients can be treated with small quantities of radioisotopes in cases of thyroid disorder, in controlling bone pain arising out of spread of cancer to bones and many other indications. Cancer patients are treated with higher quantities of radioisotope, especially in cases of thyroid of the cancer and prostate as well as in neuroendocrine tumors. All such nuclear therapies are performed under the guidance of qualified and experienced nuclear medicine physicians at our Oncolife Cancer Center in Satara. Thank you.